Okay, when I first started getting my craft room really organized, I started out with sandwich bags, okay? Sandwich bags, a pair of scissors, and some ordinary labels. Now, what I would do is I would take my label, take a bag, a sandwich bag, and put whatever I was organizing in the sandwich bag, okay? And then I would write out the label. I would also use these little containers that I can no longer find nowhere. Okay. Again, my label. Sometimes I print them. Sometimes I, um, you know, hand write them. It depends on how I'm feeling for the day. If I want to type them, I'll type them. If I want to hand write them, I'll hand write them. But it's very rare that I do hand write them. I usually just put them up on the computer and print them out to make it easier for myself. So, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, say, okay, I'm going to save these. These are from ribbon rolls. I have an idea to make with them. So, what I'm going to do, take my sandwich bag. Put them in. I try to keep everything uh, flat, but these are so big you can't, you can have to line them like that. And then, because I'm putting them in drawers, I try to keep all the air out. I will press this and then press all the air out and then just finish it blocking it. And then I would take my pen and I would put a uh, round, I don't know, ribbon uh, spools. Okay. Okay, so we got that. I'll take the label, I'll stick it here on the bag. But if I have something else, there's another uh, type of storage item that I use. And I get these on Amazon. I can seal them with a piece of tape and just, again, either handwrite or type out the label and put it in the right hand corner. I can either stand them up I can stand them on the side and I'll still be able to see the name. Which with this one, I can only stand it this way. If I put it this way, hmm. And I like to keep all my stuff the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to this. Okay. I'm going to take this out of here. And put it in here. Oh, make sure when you use see these I don't have to worry what side I put it on. But this side I want to make sure that it's in the front and the flap is going toward the back. And then I just do this. Align them in here all the way to the bottom. And they still remain flat. And this, all I do is pull it, pull the flap over, hold it like that, grab my tape, hold my tape on there, get a piece of tape off, put it on, and you're done. Now, I can do, um, I don't know, you can even save these. And do projects with those also. So, I would do the same thing. But with these, 
I can see there's a lot of extra tape on the end. I don't know why, but there's a whole bunch of extra crystal clear tape on the end of this roll. So what I'm going to do is roll it back up. I'm going to use that tape. I'm going to trim off right there. Well, actually, no, I'm going to just keep it so I know where the beginning is and trim off a little. Okay, so I want to show y'all the basic tools that I use to get organized. You can use labels, a pen, a pair of scissors, which we all know what they are. You can use these little pouches, or you can use sandwich bags. You can use tape. Hmm. There's a variety of things you can use. It's to your liking when you're doing storage or reorganizing or organizing from the beginning. So, totally up to you. I mean... You can use tens, little metal tens like this. You can use that for storage. Um, I mean, there's a variety. I use these here to keep all my printables in. So I know what company, what uh, store, online shop I have gotten it from. And I just snap it, put the printable in the envelope it's already labeled and I put it aside you know there's a variety a uh, lot of different ways you can a lot of tools you can use to get organized um, I will say this in closing if you haven't already what are you waiting for hit that big red subscribe button down below and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified of when I upload a video or do any sort of content, go live or do a premiere. Also, please be kind, be loving, be caring. Happy crafting on a budget, happy everything on a budget, and I will see you all in the next video and on the flip side. Bye bye for now, Crafty Angels.